be alive after her encounter with a shark in the waters off the Bahamas. She's recovering at Memorial Regional Hospital in Hollywood and telling her story. 31-year-old Maggie Ewing is being wheeled through the halls of Memorial Regional Hospital, grateful to be alive after her encounter with a shark while spearfishing in the waters off the Bahamas. We've all had the occasion where a shark approaches you when you have a fish on the, on the end of your spear, and you just give the shark the fish. He takes the fish, you keep your spear, and, and it's over. But this time, it was different. She shot a hogfish and reached into a little cave to retrieve him in a spot she and her boyfriend had been hundreds of times. I uh, actually turned around to see if any sharks were coming before going up, and um, I felt the pain instantly and turned around, and a shark had come over this shoulder and was sort of latched onto my hand. Luckily, the shark let go immediately, or she probably would have lost her fingers. And she's holding her hand down on her leg with this blood-soaked towel, and I thought the shark got her thigh, and I thought she was going to bleed out. She was turning pale, and I was losing it. <laughs> <laughs> that was followed by a very uncomfortable long boat ride while she tried to stop the bleeding and stay alert. She was treated with only a bandage and Motrin for the next six to eight hours. When she finally made it to Dr. Ken Wee, he made an incredible discovery inside her hand. Once we washed and exposed uh, her lacerations, we did find a sharp tooth on the third finger. Ewing will be out of commission for a while, but doctors are confident she will regain full function when her hand heals with the help of physical therapy. So Ewing and her boyfriend don't want people to think sharks are aggressive by nature or that the Bahamas waters are unsafe. They say they go multiple times a year and they're actually heading back in a couple of days.